It's Andrea again with Dot and Minis in Perm, Minnesota and DotandMinis.com. Today I wanted to highlight a line that we carry out of Israel called Alambika. It's very boutique-y and it's very unique, so you will not see yourself coming or going. It's a little higher end, but some people are okay with that, so we carry it here at the store and do okay with it and have a lot of web following. Very seldom does it go on sale, especially this time of year, but since we are under a stay-at-home order in Minnesota and we aren't allowed to have customers walk through our store, we are offering it at 20% off using the code at home. We also have some pieces that are already marked 50% off on our website, and they are also an additional 50, 20% off. Um, again, the easiest way to navigate our website is to go to the categories on the left-hand side of the page, navigate to the brands category, and then find Alambica. And hopefully they're, they're at least in order of what's current and what's on sale. So you'll be able to see that. If you have any questions, always email me, call me at the store. The email address is andrea at dotandminis.com. It's also, if you use the contact me or contact us button on the website, those emails come directly to me. The store number is also forwarded to my cell phone, so you can get to me almost any time. So I wanted to, actually this video is actually going to be in two parts because I don't have enough mannequins and I'd be too far away. So anyway, let's start with the first one. These pieces don't have names like a lot of them do, so you'll just have to remember what they look like. This vest is um, kind of an outdoory, windbreakery type fabric. It's kind of funky. The color scheme tends to be 80s right now. The orange, if you remember the orangey red, the tomato red, and the fuchsia together. This vest, I don't know if I maybe wear it over this outfit, but it's okay. It's funky. It's got a belt on it that you don't have to have on it. It's just got one loop in the back, a couple pockets. It's the tomato red color on the outside and then the lining. There are three snaps, a couple big pockets, and a little small pocket. The lining is the, is the fuchsia, so it, you could definitely wear it open like this, maybe just to pull in a little more of that fuchsia since the stripe in this fabric is that way. Again, there's the vest. And this navy stripe, the fuchsia stripe, and then I wanted to wear this top in particular just to show you that it does have a lot of fabric. A lot of people are shy of that fact. It doesn't have to be fitted. In fact, the only difference really in a lot of the sizing, I'm sure they get a little bit longer sleeve and a little bit fuller, not noticeably since it's already so full anyway, but you get the length. Um, this one happens to be the extra small. I just wanted to put it, put it on to show you how big it is. And you don't have to say, oh my gosh, it's so big for me. It's, it's just how it is. It's adorable. The sleeves are obviously dolman. A lot of different fabrics going on here. Some navy and white stripe, the fuchsia and navy, and then the fuchsia and the tomato red. And then the stripes go in a couple different ways. I'm pairing it with the, the pant of the same fabric, the stripe, it's a, it's a crop pant and it's got a nice yoke on it, elastic waist, and there are some pleats also up here on the leg to give it the fullness at the, at the hemline. And you probably can't see the hemline, sorry about that. But, and then this is my favorite necklace. One of my favorite people has one just like it, so we're gonna give kudos to her too. And then, same navy and fuchsia fabric in a dress with a three-quarter sleeve, that sometimes a three-quarter sleeve in a dress is very hard to find no matter what time of year it is. Um, the other sleeve is the navy and white stripe, just straight little pockets on each side. And the back is gonna be a horizontal stripe as well. I've just paired it with a fun OC Designs necklace. I suppose I'm out of the frame, sorry. You can tell I'm an amateur. <laughs> Another dress and a different fabric. This one is going to be a nice a nice green, black, and a baby blue fabric. Hopefully the colors are coming through okay. Another OC necklace. Um, and, a, and an elbow sleeve. I would imagine this is probably a bit, a little bit longer than the sleeve I've got on. So the horizontal stripes in the front, and then the nice long vertical stripes in the back to, to elongate the body. And this one again also has pockets. Just a nice comfortable dress. And both of these dresses are, are pretty long. This green Green stripe is a little bit longer, probably a few inches longer than that one. This one's going to be almost a maxi dress on some people. Then we've got this 100% cotton piece that combines, again, the tomato red and the fuchsia. This one also has pockets. This is Violet's first, first appearance in one of our videos, and she's very happy to be here. There was, there was some demand for her, so we've got her out there. And the back of this piece, these buttons are functional. 
But the back of this piece is pleated. If I can get her turned around. You can see the skirt, the fuchsia part of the skirt is, is pleated. It's very nice and flowy, comfortable in the summer with that 100% cotton. And again, tomato red, fuchsia. Then we go back to the green and black and navy, or black and light blue stripe, the same exact style pant that I've got on. So it's got the same yoke, elastic waistband, little pleats in the front, but just cute as, um, as you can see. And I didn't get a solid black top from Alambica this season. I decided that I would probably have several other black tops. Simply would be lovely with it. I just grabbed this one from Liverpool off of the floor. Cute little side slit and this this um, tie here on the neck is attached. You can tie it on the side, you can tie it in the middle, you can leave it untied, but I thought this was quite cute. So just very sleek, elegant, a little less flowy. A lot, a lot of people aren't comfortable with the flowy, so there's that option. Then we come to another fabric. It's a crinkle, and I believe I read it was cotton. Let me just double check. Short-term memory. No, viscose and polyester blend. It's a little heavier than than your regular, just cotton. Almost has a little bit of a coated feel, but it's not. Front pockets, the crinkle does not come out, so you ironers cannot get those out. Cap sleeve, again, it's a flowy piece, very similar style to this one with these side plackets. And then the pant that I've got to go with it, the same fabric, the, the crinkle, but in a navy. I don't know if you can see the crinkle or not, but it does. it is gonna be a, an ankle pant and it's gonna have a couple front pockets here, almost like a little cargo style, but on the front. And we've just put you know, a silken necklace with it. Bring out the, you can see through these are clear, so you can see the color through it. And then I also have a couple other tops that I wanted to show that also go with these pants, or any other pant for that matter, denim would be cute. This top in particular, the lovely print, it's kind of a sheer in the front, but with a three quarter sleeve, pretty floral print, and then a knit, navy and white stripe in the back. That would be very cute with those pants as well. And then there's another one off to the side, coming back to those same colors with the fuchsia and the tomato red stripe. Hugs in like a lantern pant. The three quarter sleeve in the dolman. And then the back is that navy and white again, but how cute would that be with those navy pants? And then I have one more. It's a gingham. A long, well, probably an eight, yeah, probably a long sleeve. Drop shoulder, a little elastic at the, at the wrist, but a little more peasant style. The tie unties, a little bit of a V-neck, straight in the back, but again, very cute with the navy pants. So there's our first video from Alamica. I'll get the ladies changed and do part two.